Hello everyone. I'm just coming back today with a quick project share and then some happy mail that I've received in the post. So the first thing I just wanted to show you quickly were these four cards that I've made. Um, this one I've made using some packaging. I can't remember where this image was from, but it was on the front of something and I liked it so much. I thought, well, I'm just going to cut that out and, and use it. So I've backed it onto some um, blue paper, which I've inked around the edges. I think I used Salty Ocean to do this. And then this was a white strip of card, which I've um, coloured in to kind of match the background. I've put some peel off strips here and here in a kind of a rose goldy colour. And I, I've raised this image up in the middle and it says for a dear friend with love. I had these sentiments in my stash. I don't know where they came from because they were just on a scrap piece of paper. But anyway, um, they, I thought they went perfectly and, and they did actually have a turquoise blue border with some other colours around. So I just cut the border very close to the to the sentiment. And I think I'm quite pleased with it, how, the, how it's come out. So, and then the other three cards are, are ones which I've made since my last video where I showed these as a sort of background um, uh, to look at when I was doing a VR. Um, so I just showed the card blanks with the backing paper on. So I just wanted to show you the finished articles. So this one is, I didn't do anything more to the paper because I thought it was so pretty. I, and I found this sentiment which says, have a great day. And there's this lovely butterfly here in the middle as well. And I've just added some Nouveau drops in a very similar colour to the, to the images here and added a little bit of sparkle to the butterflies, but I don't think it's going to show up on camera because it's not showing up very well in daylight. So that's the first card. Then um, this one. Um, now, I just love these two backing papers here that I've used. <coughs> They were in my bit box and I thought I didn't want to use them. But I did find it very hard to find images or whatever to put on top, I must admit. Anyway, I, um, I had a good search and I found this image from a hunky-dory pack of a, a lovely bunny, little bee, a caterpillar and this gorgeous bluebell. And then from another pack, I found this sentiment especially for you. And then I've just added some pink Nouveau drops which highlight the roses in the background and added peel off strip all the way around just to frame the card and then secondly that this one again I've used peel off strips all the way around because it's come a bit adrift here I'll have to it's uh, inside the plastic so I'll have to sort that out um I just love this image of the of the badger and then there's a wee ladybird there and then there's the tulips Again, I've used gold peel-offs all the way around. And then this sentiment which says, make a wish with two butterflies. And here I've used some translucent Nouveau drops. I think it's called rose water um, around just to, to finish it off. So those are my cards. And um, they'll go in my stash, ready to be sent to who knows who. And then onto the happy mail. So, um, postman's just been and in the in the post was this gorgeous bag i've never seen a, a packaging like this before so it's absolutely lovely with these gorgeous flowers all over it and at first i thought it was um some stamps that i'd got from a friend from a, a sale on facebook but because i'm waiting for them to come they've been been waiting for a while but it wasn't. I looked a bit more closely at the envelope and just where my hand is, it says who the sender is. And it's from our lovely catch crafts, Carol Ann. Now, yesterday she did say that Lewis had popped something in the post for me. And, um, and here it is. It's arrived already. So that's amazing. So let me show you what she sent me. So this gorgeous card, which is, I mean, it's just lovely, isn't it? So it's, pink paper and then this gorgeous floral paper layered up on top the same backing paper again and then the same floral images again 
and this gorgeous topper here it's absolutely beautiful and of course the signature butterfly because we know you know that caroline doesn't go any doesn't do anything without her lovely butterflies and then the thank you sentiment here so it's absolutely beautiful and she stamped it on the back handmade by catch crafts so she says um to christine thank you so much for your lovely cards they will come in so handy so she's just thanking me for the for the cards that i sent her the other day um thinking that they would be useful for her for sending out happy mail or whatever she wants to do uh in the future until she can get back the use of her left hand and and um you know, is able to craft better um and then she says something else which is a bit more personal to me which i'm not going to read that out and then she says p.s the embellishments were made in january i'm not that good one-handed yet <laughs> so she sent me these gorgeous embellishments look at these lovely lovely bird cages with two birds and a love heart um gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and then these lovely little flowers uh, on them and uh, look at the topper of the bag it's amazing beautiful love it um and this gorgeous rosette rose here so that that was the first set of toppers and then look at these gorgeous these are these are paper clips and these are lovely little bags each with their own bow and, and a ribbon handle. It's so, so pretty. Um, I must find out how you make those bags, Caroline, because they, they look really easy to do. Um, and they're so effective. So thank you, Caroline, for that. You really didn't need to send me anything, but um, I am very appreciative. And uh, I'm already thinking of a use for one of these because one of my housemates, brother is going to be celebrating his golden wedding anniversary in July and I'm thinking that this this might just be really nice to put on the card because it's in gold and we've got the two lovebirds and we've got the heart behind I think it might it might be very special so I'm I'm still mulling over the card so um I think that's going to be really useful so um that is that and then secondly yesterday in the post I got this envelope and um, again, I was thinking, oh, I don't know what this is. And, and again, I thought perhaps it was those stamps that I'm waiting for. Um, but then I saw the postmark on the front. And then I knew exactly who it was from because uh, it said um, Priorswood uh, on, the, on the frank of the stamp. And I'm very familiar with that because that's the area of Taunton where I used to live. And um, so I knew then that this was from um, Cassie Kins 1, uh, the lovely Kay. Uh, she had shown some um, Alice in Wonderland projects that she had been doing. And at the end of the video, she did a giveaway of four of the items that she had made. And, um, and it was a kind of a, uh, well, it was a secret giveaway. And... Um, she she just she didn't come on to say you know you've won or anything she just sent a message which said winner winner <laughs> so i was very excited so let me show you what 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 came so i don't want to show you the front of the envelope obviously so it came wrapped up in this gorgeous paper and there was a little message which says surround yourself with happiness uh, just very simple it's a lovely idea just to fold a piece of paper in half put a stamp on the front and it says thank you thank you for supporting my giveaway and channel christine stay well Kay." so so that was the image and then this was what i won so it's a beautiful it's a little file folder so you know you can actually put them make you know in a box file with with um tags all the way along and um this one is the white rabbit beautiful isn't it beautiful image so she th she had this um what's it what this set of papers in her in her stash and she she want she was using it up so she was this is what why she made these beautiful things 
So again, we have the white rabbit here pouring a cup of tea and um, it says I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. Um, no time to say hello, goodbye, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. But we're very familiar with that quote and it says follow the white rabbit. The back is plain and around the sides has been inked with blue to, to match the blue in the in the paper. And then inside, there's some hidden treasures. So there's this ATC card with a little tag on it. So it's so cute. So here we have the two of clubs with a key and, um, and uh, a bag, I think, tied up with a ribbon. And on the back, we've got the Mad Hatter, um, which you know, at his tea party, so that's so sweet. And then, as well as that, there is this beautiful tag, which, um, again, it says, follow the white rabbit. This is the Ace of Diamonds. It's the same image is on the front of the folder. And just a, a beautiful tag. As always, um, case things are so delicate and so beautifully produced. Um, she really is a wonderful crafter and um, I'm very happy to receive some something like this. And, and what I was thinking was, um, because, because of the ATC that she said, you know, it would fit inside, I thought perhaps I could keep my ATCs from the, the swaps that we're doing from Willy Steph in pockets like this with the tap there, make a box to put put them in, make 12, so one for each uh, month of the year, make 12, put them in, and then I can pull out the ones in January to see who I need to send cards to, etc. And there's a way of recording people's birthdays and at the same time um, enjoying uh, everybody's art um, because, you know, I, I, it is hard, isn't it, to, to store everything that everybody sends us and, and we like to, to store it and keep it. But it's also nice to be able to, to see it from time to time. And originally I thought, oh, I'll put the ATCs in a pocket file. So that's what I've done at the moment. Um, um, I'll find where it is. I, I, um, I've started on a, you know, the pocket letter plastics, putting in the ATCs in that for the time being. But I think this would be a much better uh, idea and would be, you know, would be nicer. So that's what I intend to do. I hope I manage. Uh, I'm going to use this one as a template. Um, it looks very easy to make. So it's just a piece of card folded in half. And then the, ins and, uh, the inside has been, so, uh, you know, one half is slightly wider than the other. And the inside has been folded over, the extra has been folded over, and then this bit, um, bit this bit uh, stuck on top. And I thought, well, this is a wonderful way as well for me to use up some of my scraps. So watch this space because, you know, 2021 is uh, stash busting. So I think this is a lovely idea. And I am, thank you, Kay, for inspiring me. And I will come on and show you how I'm getting on with this um, at a later date. So, well, that's all I've got to say. <laughs> thank you to everybody. Um, thank you for, for watching. I hope you have a good weekend. Here in Manchester, it's pouring with rain. I, perhaps where you are, it's the same, but I'm hoping that, that you have some good weather as well. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.